is going on guys? My name is Ron back in from Roman Reviews here and today I'm going to be showing you my loot and my time at the Anime Expo of 2018, the one that just uh, happened about a few days ago. Um, I'm back in Vegas and I am tired. Um, I've actually been, a I've just been working the moment I came back and then I've been busy with other things. So this is my first video back and I'm going to be showing all the gear that I have. I have a giant pile right over here of all the freebies and goodies and stuff that I bought. I also have a couple of shirts that I bought. I think you guys, have, I, I found them really cool, at least for the very least for me. And I'm going to go show them off. Now the one really big thing that I got, that was probably the biggest thing I got in terms of how much I thoroughly was looking forward to it, was probably this little Nendoroid. Um, in fact, I'm going to be making this, uh, I'm going to be putting it together up really soon. In fact, I might actually do that on, uh, uh, I might just do this right here. Um, it is a Megumin Nendoroid. I know it's going to be a little bit glary because of the whole, uh, my, my uh, screen. Um, but it is the school... Uniform version of Megumin. Um, I did want a, something of Megumin. All of the figures of Me Me Megumin were uh, very expensive. Um, and there was a couple other ones from Konosuba. Uh, I saw a couple Aquas. Um, but the Megumin one was the best one I wanted. And it was thoroughly uh, expensive. It was over like 100 bucks for the figure. I was like, I want it, but not that much. <laughs> um, in fact, yeah, you know, I'm going to go build it right now. Um... I'm going to open this up really quickly. Uh, I don't have anything to cut. Oh, I, I lied. I have it right here. All right. Uh, I'm going to open this up really quickly. Um, there we go. I'm going to keep the box, of course. Absolutely. Um, keep the boxes as a background. Uh, I, I'm hoping I can tear this open. There we go. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to open this up really quickly and uh, show you guys the actual opening of it. Let me move the box up as, as, I, as I almost completely drop it. Um, inside. Oh, and... Is it? Is this? This is my first time actually buying an Android, so there's that. I'm also trying to you know be like really soft and careful because, like I said, I'm gonna be putting this stuff right back in the box. I mean, like all the stuff that it, that came from. Oh, it's ta is that taped? No, that is not taped. Apparently, I'm just retarded. There we go. Move that over there. All right, and so these are the insides of it. <laughs> it's a fucking drop. <laughs> okay, all right. I dropped her crabs, or, or her lobsters, I think these are lobsters, those look like lobsters, okay. Alright, so without dropping anything, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna take it out, alright. Alright, Megamine, come on, come out here. Alright. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable! I usually collect, I usually have pop figures because, um, I, don't, I usually don't have the money to buy Nendoroids, but Good Smile was there, um, in fact I have their little bag, or I mean, like a little tote bag that I'm gonna be uh, using for things. Um, oh my gosh, why did they wrap it like this? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, but yeah, alright, got most of that out. Jesus, that, that is some weird area to put, uh, this wrapping. It's like, oh, oh, oh it's a pop off her legs. Okay, that would have been easier, but it's still, maybe me, no! <laughs> okay. I, I like how like her, she has her little she has her little fit. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Let's throw this back on. Why can he take that apart? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why can he take that apart and just see the panties? I mean, a for effort for detail. All right, so this is the actual little Nendoroid chibi hub. Oh my god, that's a totally like, there. Blur. All right, there, look all right. My camera is not focusing on for some reason. All right, let's see what other things that it has. It has the stand right here, which I will put on really quickly. I realize that <laughs> this might be a long ass video because I did not expect to actually be, oh, okay, this is the next thing I got. I did not expect to actually be building this thing. So <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit longer. I'm starting with the good things first. Um, and then honestly, the rest of everything else is kind of just more like posters and like bags and shit. Um, and all that jazz, so there's that, okay. Alright, so how does this work? Alright, so I'm assuming this goes in right there. Hold on. Like I said, first time doing this. First time noob. Not normally. Like I said, don't normally buy Nendoroids. But I like them. They're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Alright, so is it going in like this? No, that doesn't go, that doesn't seem right. So you just plug it in right here? Plug it into her back? That's how it works. I'm guessing that's how it works. Okay, that works. 
It doesn't seem that stable, but I'm probably it's probably because I don't have it incorrectly. Alright, so that it, oh, as I pull it out. And you can change her face as many times as you want. Um, she has like this a smug little face. Um, or a very like derp kind of face. Alright, let's get these out of here. Oh, you can oh, you also have that you can also have a little cat with her. Oh shoot, my, um I'll just set that aside for now. Uh, so I'm gonna go. So this is her normal face, just her normal face right there, just her squinty. Um, so I'm guessing this her, her hair just pops off. No, possibly. I mean, it should, right? Right? Possibly. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right, and then you take off the face, and then you replace it with. Uh, let's do the surprise face because the surprise face is pretty fucking great. Must admit, yeah, the surprise face is pretty fucking great. <laughs> Let me just put that on right here. And so, and then you can just pick whichever one you want to use. And then, put the hair back on. Oh! <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty great. That's actually pretty great. Just, she has like a giant, like her mouth, uh, like her entire, like she's pouting. It's almost like a pouting face. That's what it is. I like that. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, this is just straight up adorable. Oh, as, as I just rip off her arm. I'm sorry, Megamine. Did not mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, the other face that they have is the smug grin, which is what I'm gonna go put on right now. And then I'll probably just, and then I'll probably finish building this to the side, um, and then just sticking it around probably somewhere like up there or something, um, and then just admire it from <laughs> far. Um, but I will have that smug face on because that is the best face. Um, so let me put back on her hair again. All right. And oh, yep, yep, that's that's Megamine in a nutshell. That's totally Megamine. That's totally Megamine. It's so hard to focus. I know, but she's she has a smug grin. Okay, you can. I'm pretty sure if anyone has seen Kono Soup, you know what I'm talking about. But um, she also has. I'm, I'm guessing that's jerky in her hand, possibly. Um, she has her. Lobsters, um, and she also has one where she is holding a bag of something, like a little bag, and where she is just saying peace. Okay, that would be her left. That's her left hand. In fact, I like her left hand. Doing that. All right, all right, Megamine, pull off your head. Take off your. I was gonna say take off your shirt, but I would have heard the uh, FBI start coming, uh, and I don't want that. No, thank you. I've already had the FBI come after me after making that John Tron watches Iramaga <laughs> Sensei. <laughs> you think I'm joking? No, no. It's 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 all true. I'm on the FBI's most wanted list. Same thing with John Tron. We're all we're all screwed. We're all screwed here. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh my god, that's adorable. It's adorable. She's holding a piece and she's like smug, explosions. Oh, I just tore off her torso. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah, so that there's that. Um, and, yeah, that's that's pretty fucking great. I, I love this thing. I already love it. I'm glad that I bought this. I got it for uh, $45, I think. Um, it was on, it was like, originally, it wasn't like you couldn't even get them anymore. Um, they were sold out, and then they restocked it, and that's great. So, yeah, awesome. The next thing that I actually bought was something that I bought at Artist Alley. This is actually completely for a friend. Um, it's a sack of four coasters, um, and they each have a Gretzuko. Uh, in fact, it's one of my favorite uh, shows that I recently watched on Netflix. Um, and my friend, my co-worker, had sent it to me, and she had show We went over to her house one day, and we watched the entirety of it in, like, three hours, because every episode was, like, 15 minutes long. And it was about five, they're about 15 minutes each, give or take, um, for each episode. And so I remember I went over there one day, and we just sat down, and we watched the entirety of the entire series. And I, she thoroughly enjoyed it, so I found those at Artist Alley. I think she's going to really like them. I um, haven't seen her since I came back yet, and I know she's out of town, so uh, the moment she comes back, hopefully hopefully she'll enjoy that. And I got a, also a bunch of other things that I got were a bunch of um, uh, posters and little things. Uh, I got something for Dragon Quest VI, and it was, you, you got it if you actually went to the actual, um, 
play the demo of it. And that was the front side. That was a little bit of the front side of it. And the back side, pretty cool actually. Not too bad. I mean, free. All I had to do was kind of wait in line and wait in line at LineCon. Um, the other thing that I got outside of, uh, let's see, I got a cool calendar. Um, it's from July 18th to July 2019. Um, and it is of Sora Online, uh, the new one, um, which is called, what is it, Alice, 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 Alicization. Jesus. <laughs> and of course they have other things on here um, as well. Yuragasono Yunasan or Yuna and the Haunted Springs or Hot Springs and Cells at Work which are anime uh, which are anime that are going to be airing um they have a bunch of other than uh, other things Token Ranbu a regular magical high school um I actually first, this is the first time I'm actually opening this up so this is all a uh, uh, all new to me um let's see Sora Online uh alternative the new Sora Online right there personify the animation yes absolutely uh, regular Grand Grand Crest War. It's I know it's hard to see because of the glare, but I'm doing my best I can. Um, let's see what is this one. Today's menu for Emia Fam family. Apparently, we're gonna get flash floods. I don't care. Is it really gonna rain? I live in Vegas. Why is hold on? Why is it gonna rain? Oh, yeah, it's gonna rain. Okay, I just looked at my weather app. You know, this is a prime opportunity to never wash your car because this shit happens. Anyway, back on to the fucking thing. <laughs> uh, Fate Stay Night, uh, on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Uh, March Comes Like a Lion. I need to watch that. Blend S, Smile Sweet, all that jazz. Uh, Fate Apocrypha, um, it's awful best girl. Don't at me at that. Um, and Fate... Lost Encore. I was like, that, do that doesn't look normal. Fake Grand Order, of course. And then they have, like, um... Oh. You know, I'm not too big of a fan of Fate. I mean, I would say I would be if I got more into it, but I've been playing other mobile games, like Fake Grand Order I'm talking about. Uh, I've been playing a lot of other uh, mobile games. But in terms of, like, people I would honestly go for easily, MASH, th this fucking figure of MASH is great. I don't know if you can see it, but boom. And the next one, of course, Mordred over there because she's a tomboy and tomboys are best boys enough said um i mean this was the guide i don't know if you really cared about that but it was the uh, anime expo 2018 guide uh which was on the front kind of hard to see and then the back which was fake grand order which is weird. They've been really pushing that for the last few years. Uh, it was there last year. Um, we, me and my friend actually opened an Aki Bento box. Um, and we got a few things uh, from there. Uh, one thing was like, I'm, I believe this is like a little travel pillow. Um, I think. But I'm not going to be going around <laughs> rocking this. I mean, I could probably put it on the back of this. Um, or you can put it on the back of your, I'm guessing, your headrest and your car. And then just, because it has like a little, little strap right here. This little strap, and I guess that's what uh, the point of this is. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, so that's one part of the things that I got from the Occupento, and that's cool. As I totally <laughs> I meant to throw it over there, but it bounced off. Um, let's see, what else did we get from there? Another thing, as I just totally dropped some shit. Um, another thing that we also got. I'm trying to get this all over here. I'm gonna organize it right there. Another thing that I got from the Akibento, which was, it, it actually is, uh, so, does this actually say anything? No, it doesn't, okay. Um, it is a poster, and it is of Naruto, which is, it's actually not bad looking, not bad. I mean, I might send, I might actually give this away though, possibly, with, I might do my signature, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, let me know in the comment section if you would be, like, interested in that. Um, also... Uh, that, well, that's from the Aki Bento. I'm trying not to stay away. I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep that all together. Um, so I don't just be like, I, I'm not just showing a bunch of stuff that wasn't from the Aki Bento. Because me and my, me and my friend split up the, uh, things. We went, both went 50-50 on it. It's a $40 box. Uh, we got it from, uh, for, I, I paid $20 for it. Now, another thing that they also gave us was this Aki Bento exclusive that was part of it. Um, wow. Focus. There you go. Uh, Aki Bento exclusive, I do realize there's some smudges on the front of it, but I mean, it's just a box. But, it was actually really cool. I would recommend that if you're gonna buy this, and you're gonna split it, probably split it with a significant other, or a really good friend, because 
That's what they gave me. It's a half portion of the scissor blade from Kill a Kill. And my friend had another one. It's so... <laughs> uh, me and him have matching necklaces. So, um... I would recommend you either have this with a really close friend of yours. Or a girl. Or a guy, if you're the girl picking it up. Or if, or perhaps a significant other, because if they're all the same, uh, yeah, um, because, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but the fact that we have matching ones now is, means our bonds will never be unrivaled, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, there was another, there was a few other things, um, one thing that they also sent, uh, was this thing, as well, um, I, I need to find someone to give this to, I think my friend is, is into this. I'm not, because I'm not in man service, me personally, uh, I'm into fan service, man service, nah, nah, I'm good, but they had, it's like a, I believe a jacket from free, uh, I think it's like their, their, their school club jacket thing, um, uh, and it has their names on it, this one says, oh, hold on, uh, I, I'm trying to open it, Iwat, Iwatobi? I guess I think that's an eye. Yeah, I'm not trying to open this because I'm giving it to my friend. I don't want to open it and be like, here you go, second hands. Um, so yeah, uh, that was also part of it. There was also like this golden Naruto thing that my friend gave. I gave it to my friend, something for Bleach, and I believe like a T-shirt as well. Um, that's he got those, and I got a couple of things. Like I said, the uh, occupants. So the one thing that was the really cool part um, was split, and then um, the poster. So honestly, it was a good go if you're gonna go buy it for yourself and all that. But yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I really don't know how to explain this. I didn't realize what I got. I was picking up any freebie I can. I mean, this convention is free, mine as well. You already paid your money, right? There were these girls dressed up in maids. I think she was a maid, and that's not too uncommon in this kind of uh, convention. But, they're like, here, here you go, ha um, free. And they said something else, I didn't really catch it until... Looking at it now, I remember what they said. And they were passing <laughs> these. If you don't know what it is, they are tissues. And the ones, <laughs> oh my god, I can't show that. Um, and the ones <laughs> that were giving them out were this place called Cosplay Deviants where they are erotic cosplay models and if you look inside enjoy a free 30-day membership look inside for your code and sure enough there's a fucking code right in the opening of it which i cannot probably show because i will get age restricted even though they're not showing anything but goddamn it definitely shows that 2b has an ass um yeah uh, and yeah i can't show that one uh, the, th this back part either which you guys couldn't see anyway <laughs> but <yeah. laughs> I still can't believe they fucking show this off. I mean, I know we're nerds, <laughs> but the fact that they said fucking tissues, like actual tissues, I'm not gonna use them, you nasties, but actual tissues covering this, um, <laughs> they, they, I, I'm at a standstill. I'm at a standstill. I just landed on my bed perfectly open. <laughs> oh, man. Um, one of the other really cool things, I'm gonna show a bunch of what I got, <clears throat> what I got, um, was, uh, if a mobile game that I've been playing actually really religiously called Girls Frontline, um, and they were handing out some free stuff, they were constantly selling out of a bunch of stuff, unfortunately, so I didn't get all the stuff that I wanted, um, but they were able to give me, like, these fans, um, this is of Girls Frontline, this is one of the girls, it's basically if Can Cole met, um, guns, um, and basically, all that was happening, um, and they just released it in English, I believe, like, two or so months ago. I've only been playing for about a month, and I'm really high-ranked already. Um, I've been grinding the hell out of this thing, and they have, like, like this is UMP9, and this is, like, M4 Sotmod 2 or something like that. I think that's what it was. Um, but yeah, and it, the game's actually really fun. In fact, if anyone are playing of it, uh, put your ID in the comment section below and I'll probably add you. Um, although my friends list is almost running out because, I'm, like I said, I'm really high ranked so everyone tries to add me. Um, but other things like they had were they were giving away this uh, bag, which is of Girls Frontline. And I don't know if you guys can hear me that much. Um, but yeah, it's a, that's a really cool bag, not gonna lie. It's a cool tote bag. 
Uh, and this is where I was holding a lot of my stuff. It was actually a really cool bag to hold. And another thing that I actually did buy um, from there was a poster. Um, it is a little folded up, so I need to go like reset the creases. Um, this is of one of the girls, uh, Mac-10. And uh, yeah, pretty damn cool. Um, I'm planning on hanging it like somewhere around over here or over here and behind, um, in front of me. Um, or maybe behind me, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but those are some really cool things that I got. Um, as well as I bought uh, this patch from something similar. Uh, it's called Weapon Grade Waifus. In fact, I bought some of their stuff before. I actually have a couple of their patches right next to me. Um, but I got this patch right here. <laughs> um, and it is of... It's a Megamine. It's a Megamine patch. Um, it says, Bakura 2, Third Combat Demolitions Unit. And it's a patch just with a Velcro on it. So you can just snap it here. And it'll stay mostly on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Weapons Grade Waifus. Um, they do have a store on uh, online um and yeah that's it, a little logo panties with guns because we are cultured men uh we are men of culture um and then of course they had a bunch of like um at go manga uh, already was i think it was like the seven seas bo booth um but they were giving away like little um little things like the unison um and then other things that they had some of their books on the catalog as well um this one right here um thoroughly recommend it uh, my solo exchange. Uh, oh, this is the sequel. Okay, never mind. I had to read this now. Um, it's the sequel to my lesbian experience with loneliness and thoroughly and uh, like, it, like it, people are probably going into it expecting some etchy shit and it's not, not at all. Um, but the thing is, it's really cool. It's a really well done, and especially if someone has ever been in that kind of mindset before, not the lesbian part, but the tale of loneliness and like depression, it is such a good read because you can relate to it, and the character is humanized very well. And honestly, it just thoroughly blew my mind, blew my expectations out of the water, and it was a manga that I would highly recommend someone. I also got a couple decals. I'm trying to find where the rest of them are. I think they're in this little pile. Um, decals, so when I get my um, uh, my thermostat or my water jug, which is going to be like um, thermal encased um, and it's vacuum sealed, I'm going to be putting some stickers on it and decals, and this is one of them. Uh, oh my gosh, can't. There you go. Uh, <laughs> it's Morgana. It's Morgana, of course. I have one of Morgana. Uh, I'm trying to find the other ones. Here's a couple of them. Um, and I got four, so, and I gave one to my brother. Um, in fact, I do need to finish cutting this right where, where it's right. But, of course, thick. Thick! Everything is thick! Just like that water ball, and, of course, adorable Kana. It's adorable fucking Kana. I had to. Had to buy it. And, of course, oh, speaking of weapon grade rifles, they also gave me a sticker. And, pretty cool. <laughs> Um, also with the pass, which you can actually see, my pass is on the left, right there, right, right there. <laughs> um, that was part of the pass. Uh, this is, oh no 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 no, this this is from last year actually. Uh, I don't know why that's in my bag. This is from last year. This was from this year, uh, which was the Persona Five. Um, they actually had a panel, Persona Five. Uh, oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they actually had a Persona Five animation panel. Um, I didn't get to see it because gonna be too busy and you had to be there like <laughs> hours in advance to even get an attempt uh so i didn't even try oh one thing that they actually gave me that I'm, i i kept close for the longest time was was pretty fucking cool uh, they have if you guys can't see on oh, uh, okay the glare uh they have a <laughs> they have a persona 5 joker mask that you can put on your face in fact i'm gonna open this up i'm gonna open this up because i can take a picture with this or, you'll be able to see it before I take a picture of it. I mean, I highly doubt I'm actually going to take a picture of it. I does say, send your tweets into this Instagram account. Which, I, I have an Instagram account, but I haven't logged in it since, like, 10th grade in high school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, looks, this looks so off-center. There you go. That's more centered. There you go. Um, but that's that, that's pretty cool, not going to lie. That, that just looks a little cool. This little <laughs> a Joker mask that you can just put on. They also gave you a wearable one, too. Um, right, just right. Hold on, let me throw away this trash. Um, they actually have a wearable one, so you can <laughs> you can just walk around like this. I can't see shit. I can't see shit at these things. If I were to walk around the con like this, I'd be bumping into people like crazy. But yeah, they have this wearable one. Um, they're giving away both of them like almost back to back, so that was cool. Let's see, what is this actually? They they were handing this out too. I have no idea what this is. Labyrinth of Refrain. Rated M. Partial nudity. 
Sexual dames, strong language sounds like right in my alley, in fact. So let's open this up, okay? Oh, it's a comic. I can't really show you the comic. Um, but it's big. It's a comic. Like I said, first time I'm touching some of these, I mostly just grab. But yeah, it's a, it's a little comic. Just, just a little comic. It's hard to see, of course. I have no idea what it is. But it's anime girls that look cute, so I'm probably gonna go look into it. Uh, so let's set that aside. Oh! That's right. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just read this. I want to eat your pancreas. What the fuck? I was like, oh, this looks all adorable and cute. I want to eat your pancreas. What the fuck? <laughs> I have no idea what this is. I don't know. It's cool. Like, it's thick. It's thick paper. And I thought... It looks like, like, look at this. It looks all cute and shit. I want to eat your pancreas. Okay. No. I'm good. It's like pupa all over again. It's that weird shit. And then, like, they have, like, some, like, Grand Summoner's X One Punch Man. You can free download it. And you get a free Genos and Boros. And I guess that's cool. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be into the game. Really? Maybe? I don't know. I, have, I got a new phone so I can check out a bunch of stuff, so maybe. This was another one of those things that I'm actually glad I got this. Uh, it was It's a thick version of Yuna and the Hot Springs. I, I'm probably going to just set that like right there. That, actually, that's a good stuff. I might do that. Yeah, uh, like I said, I've been a big fan of the manga. Um, and then I'm going to be watching. going to be watching it soon. Just comment por favor. Although, I'm gonna have to go, it's gonna have to go directly to, uh, my Google Drive. Sorry, guys. If you wanna watch, it's gonna have to go to my Google Drive account because apparently Memory NK, who I didn't meet at the expo, uh, watched the OVA and he got taken down for age restriction. Or got an age restriction guideline on it. So, I'm gonna wait! I'll, I'll, I'll just do myself a solid on that one. Um, let's see. A giveaway campaign is on now, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. It's, uh, Tokyo Otaku Mode or Tom. Um, they have like just like some stuff that you can win a figure if you just do something. Um, when is it? Oh, giveaway ends on the 12th. It, it already ended. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, well, I wasn't able to get that. Oh, it's if you installed it. That's all you had to do. Oh, yeah, I still lost anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's other things. Um, other giveaways. Uh, like install the app, win a One Punch Man figure. I might. I mean, honestly, it was for that. To it was for that Grand Summoner's X One Punch Man. So I guess that's part of the uh, little collaboration celebration that they're doing. Another one that they gave me, like this wearable mask, was from Dis Dis Jaya Dis 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 Gaya. What the fuck? I don't know. Dis Gia. I don't know what the fuck this is. And I hate my life. I already heard that they were getting a fucking flood thing. You just told me. I, and, and it ain't raining now, bitch. Flash flood warnings. This area till 345. Then wait until 3 fucking... If I see water come in my house, then let me know. Because by then it's already too late. But Jesus Christ, I don't need to hit, let you know. But yeah, that's what I got. This wearable mask from Disc, Disc Jail. Whatever the fuck it's called. Um, also, oh, another part of the thing from Girls Frontline was this, um, was this. Um, and this little QR code right here, I don't know if you, I don't even know if you can actually pause this video and, like, take a screenshot of that. I, I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. Um, but it was, uh, if you were to take a, um, QR code scanner and scan it, I think you can download it. Um, or, you know, you can just download it off the App Store or whatever store you have or the Google Play Store or whatever it works. They're both on there for free. Um, so, I mean, honestly, just look it up. I don't know, it doesn't really say if you got anything. It, it never said so. Plus, I already have it, so no point in checking. Um, and, like, some other, like, some, they were also handing other things out just to be like, hey, come to my booth. Um, also, this thing that was, uh, they were pushing a lot of was this Little Dragon's Cafe. Um, kind of hard to say. I know. Um, and you could build this little thing off of it if you did a certain thing. Hold on. Um, and it, honestly, it looks... Interesting enough, I hope I don't break this thing. I mean, I have like a secondary one, so it's cool. Um, but it's like you you were fold it this way, and then you fold it that way, and then possibly if you do this, and then it kind of like does a stand shit. Um, and when I say stand, I'm not talking about JoJo. That was that a motherfucking JoJo reference? I don't know. I guess it just does a stand like this. Something. I don't know. 
It's cool, I guess. <laughs> um, but I think they're giving out like free, like you can also download it for free. Um, oh, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but they were just showing a bunch of that off and that was cool. I didn't really stop off at the booth though. Also, one thing, if you are interested in it, um, uh, Loot Anime was giving out like these little car um, like, little cards and it's a safe. Get 15% off plus free gifts if you use the code AXLA15. Uh, so Anime Expo Los Angeles 15 as in the 15%. Um, and they always come with a cool amount of stuff. Um, so if you're into that, absolutely. Um, but yeah, AXLA15. I don't know if it only works once. I'm, I highly doubt it because I'm pretty sure they just send a bunch of mixed things out. Um, and all that jazz. So if you're interested, there you go. Um, another thing that they actually sent, um, was this, oh, oh, I got, was this poster. And is this the one? Okay, no. This was actually, okay, I take that back. My friend actually got this for me. Um, it is a persona. And it's like an achieve you for, like, a different version. Um, I'll probably post this somewhere. I don't know where I'll, uh, I don't know where I'll put this. Um, but it's, it's a cool, I mean, it's persona. You can't go wrong with persona. So there's that. Another one that I got, in fact, it, I have a little bit of a story on this one. So, I'm gonna go finish wrapping this up. I'm gonna go over to my bookcase and grab it. So, um, what happened was, Katakawa, um, who I am a little, I'm still a little bit upset that you guys blocked my fucking <laughs> Yenamatsuri video, but Katakawa um, did this thing where they were ha at their booth, they had this little event, and you could, if you were to guess it, um, it was like a quiz. And they would show a picture uh, of a, so they would show like a promotional art. And they would take a very small snippet of it and blow it up so it's all pixelated and be like, what's this from? It's from one of our shows, what's it from? So they were just, and like, they were trying really hard to use obscure shows that are not really more well known. Like, uh, Made in the Abyss, uh, ReZero, Konosuba, um... And a bunch of other ones that they are really well known for. Hinamatsuri as well is also pretty well known, especially as of recently. But they would avoid using them. They would use ones like Go Sick. Um, that was one of the questions of uh, up there. And there was a few other ones that I couldn't I couldn't remember. Because they were actually pretty obscure. There was one of Strike Witches. Um, but the one that I got was of... The, if you guys ever remember seeing it, Bolso Soldier Machiavellianism, which came out last year, I believe, in spring. Uh, I believe it was spring. And, yeah, it wasn't spring because I was still living with my folks, and I was, at that time, when I was watching it. And, they showed the first part, it was blue with a couple of, like, um, it was just a blue picture, like, from the sky. No one would got guessed it. And then they showed the second picture, and it showed his outfit, but the one that uh, showed it was, he has gloves that are, like, blade-resistant, because he had blade-resistant knuckles so he can, like, catch them, they're called, like, blade catchers. And I was like... I know this, raise my hand. I looked around, only like one or two other people knew what it was, or might have guessed, because if you at least guessed, you would have at least gotten a free poster. Um, but I knew what it was, and they were in the far back. I was actually near the front of the actual row, where if you were in the front of the row, you were sitting down on the actual carpet, and then all the stand buyers were on the outside of the booth, um, and just watching it. So I was sitting down, I was right there, and even people were like, oh, he knows what it is. I was like, because I was like, oh, I know it, I know it. I'm saying this out loud. And then finally she points to me, and I was like, and they hand me the mic, Blue Social Jamaica Market Villainous. Yeah! But it was kind of funny, though, because everyone who asked and, like, won the actual thing, they would be like, oh, what made you guess it? They didn't do it with me. Maybe because I just would have been like, nah, because this reason, this reason, this reason, this reason. I would have been like, look at his school uniform, the way he's holding his hands, the way his body movement is. Look, look, uh, and then I would have just gone off on a tangent. Probably better. But the one thing they were giving out was th this poster, which, I don't, hold on, I just want to make sure, is that the right poster? Okay, it's the right poster. <laughs> um, I should only be, I only have two. Um was a poster if you at least guessed it. If you at least guessed the anime, even if it was from a different studio, like, uh, I think it is Naruto. Um, and they're like, no, that's not Katakawa, but there you go. Uh, I think that's, I think Naruto's not <laughs> Katakawa. But as long as you guessed it, you were allowed to come up. But if you got it, you were able to um, pick from this collection of manga. And I got this beauty. <laughs> this beauty right here. Saga of Taya the Evil, first volume straight from Japan. This one is 1,000 yen, so it's about a little under 10 bucks, but it's the complete first volume, and it is in Japanese, so I don't, I, I honestly don't know what it says at all, um, but they have, they, it's the same thing, it's just the volume, and it's great. I'm, it, it, ma it makes me want to actually pick up the volume. It is in English, so I can, so there's nothing stopping me, 
just me actually doing it. But the fact that I got this was absolutely awesome. And I got to, I, so I picked that and then I picked, uh, I wanted to see if they had any ReZero pictures, posters left, but they didn't. But instead I got the promotional art of, of, <laughs> of Saga of Tony the Evil. And the Blu-ray goes, is already on sale. And actually I might pick it up because it's one of my favorite shows. And especially from Katakawa, and Katakawa has some really good shows. Yojo Senki, Saga of Tiny the Evil, awesome poster, might hang it up somewhere, not entirely sure. Um, because, but it's not something I'm going to ever, ever give away. Um, but yeah, honestly, really, really cool. Um, thoroughly happy <laughs> that I was able to win that. And that was probably my, that was probably my coolest thing that happened. Um, and then right at, like, right afterwards I met up with, uh, Memory. Um, because I, so, uh, we were planning on meeting up. I, I wanted to at least meet up with them at least one day. Uh, and it was the last day on Sunday where I got this. And that was, that was honestly really cool. I remember, I, I, I realized I'm still not used to, like, standing in front of large crowds. Because I'm saying, because uh, they're like, oh, you're good, win, come on up. And I stood up and I was like, all this static. So I don't know if it was more the adrenaline, because I was like, I know this, oh, I got it. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I was nervous as shit. I was nervous, okay? Like, shut the fuck <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that that was my big story, and uh, I think honestly, um, from what I have left, there's not much uh, really. Um, they were passing out these um, "Take Your Heart" uh, calling cards, which is funny though because it has um, the lyrics to "Break In and Break Out." Um, um, yeah, "Break In and Break Out," which is the intro on the back. So that, that that's cool. That's actually kind of cool. It's it's a calling card, so can't go wrong with that. They also, oh, oh, going back to the girl, girls' frontline thing, um, they also handed me this little, like, um, this little booklet, um, called, oh my gosh, you can hardly see it, Springfield's Apple Pie, and Springfield is very, like, fan favorite, um, in fact, Springfield was on the cover, that, that's Springfield right there, um, she is a very popular, um, fan favorite, and they made, I guess she's so popular that they made her a little, like, little fan fiction kind of comic, um, so that was cool. I actually haven't read this yet. I'm gonna go read it to myself eventually. Um, but yeah, it's only like, it's only like 10 pages long. That's it. So I'm probably just gonna watch, uh, read, read that real quickly one day. Uh, probably today afterwards. The other two, the last two things gonna be, that I'm gonna be showing you, you guys, are two of, uh, two t-shirts that I actually picked up. One is property of NERF athletic department. So from Evangelion, you can even see that it has, oh, so it's kind of hard to see because of the, you know, hanger. Oh, let me take this off. Do, 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 do. You can see I don't normally do this kind of stuff. <laughs> Would have been more better and clean at it, but it does say it is Studio Kara. Oh my God, you can't even see it. Studio Kara, NERV, um, and all that stuff. You can find it at Geekudo, Geekudo, or Geekudo, G-E-E-K-U-R-O.com. I'm best, and that's where you can buy this. I don't even remember if that was the booth I went to, but I got it for like 20 bucks. I mean, honestly, cool thing. It's a new workout shirt, something I've always needed. So that's definitely cool. Um, probably wear it tonight, actually, when I go to work. And I go, I work at Graveyard, so I, you can kind of take off your normal work shirt, just walk around. I'll probably be wearing this, actually. So that's the thing. And then the one thing that I'm probably going to be wearing whenever I stream or do something, it's a giant pit. It's a fucking thing of ramen. I realized that even though this is an extra large, which is what I normally wear, it's fucking big on me, actually. It's really big on me, actually. In fact, it's so big, I actually might just put it on my wall and go from there. But it's pretty fucking awesome, right? Ramen love. Hell yeah. Ramen reviews. Have to have a thing of ramen. I mean, it's it's a must. This, yeah, I, I swear to baby Jesus, this is not an XL. This is not an XL. This is a double XL. This hangs off of me. The XL fits my torso. Because I, I have a, I'm long, I'm tall, six foot two. This is long. <laughs> this is long on me. Like I like my this shirt right here. It's it's actually meant for like smaller people, so it's a double XL, and it fits me fine, like lengthwise. This is a double XL. It's it's this is an XL and it's longer than this shirt. So yeah, I I, I think I should have gone for a smaller one. But regardless, I can still wear it. And it's actually really comfortable. It's a very comfortable material. Um. So yeah, that actually wraps up what I got from Anime Expo. I'm gonna go talk about what I thought of the convention. Um, honestly, the best thing about the convention was walking around, obviously. I wouldn't say panels because I didn't go to a single panel. Um, I feel like, honestly, unless you have the premiere pass or you're, you're, you're willing to wait in line, 
for many, many hours. Sorry, I'm moving everything just so it's not crushing anything. I, I do plan on actually posting this like little take your heart thing. I'm just gonna put it right here for now. That's it. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's cool. <laughs> um, um, if you're not a premiere fan, or if you're willing to sit in line for hours, then go for it. We decided not to go to any panels because the panels that we're going to go to, we can still watch it later on. And I will admit from someone who has been to the panel and has seen the live re um, live stream of it back to back, or I've seen them afterwards, I've went to the Persona 5 animation panel, or sorry, the F Persona 5 panel in 2017, and then I was able to watch it on uh, the computer. And I remember we were watching it, um, mainly because we got in and it was about halfway through by the time we actually got in. Granted, I don't know how much organized this was um, compared to last year, um, but I remember a lot of people were staying in the actual hall from the last panel and just stood there and waited until the next panel rolled around, and then they just stood there and then they got their seats. So that was unfortunate, and I think they were still doing that for some cases, so that's one thing I didn't like because you can kind of take advantage of the situation um, and just wait. And then you'll be guaranteed. I wish, like, it, before each panel, they would clear it out and then bring in the new people. Um, but they didn't do that. Um, the one uh, the one event that me and my roommate, or not my roommate, my friend, went to was this Cowboy Bebop 20th anniversary thing. And I was a little bit upset of it, but then I realized I actually didn't give it the benefit. I didn't give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, it did say that there was going to be a live, uh, live jazz band going to be playing there. And I expected that to be most of the night. Um, we were there for about an hour. Um, after about almost two hours of waiting in line, in fact, about an hour and a half of waiting in line, um, and we were even outside. We granted, thankfully, like the place we were in was um, shaded. Um, it was at night, so it actually wasn't that bad once the sun went down. Um, but there also was wind that coming through, so it wasn't as unbearable as I thought it was. Plus, there was this guy behind us who was fanning us the entire time. That was actually kind of cool. Shout out to you. Um, um, I think his name was actually Mo uh, Moses. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, Moses. Uh, yeah, he was actually uh, shaking a fan, but then he had to leave. He had to use the restroom, and we were gonna save a spot. But by the time he came back, um, the line had already moved, and we didn't see him. We were waiting for him. We were waiting for him, and then finally the line was moving, and unfortunately he lost his spot. But we even said that. He even said that if, if line was moving, it was cool. Um, but so we got in there and there was a bunch of people in there it was this lounge area so it's only if you were 21 and over uh, because they're serving alcohol drinks and the drinks there were about 10 bucks a pop and they're about a drink this big about about give or take um but they had a bunch of other things in fact i will pull that up on my phone really quickly um uh, well if i can find my phone where is my phone where are you my phone there you are my phone i know i threw you around when i was saying i don't need to hear about that Oh, now, now the weather decided to change. That's not going to rain. Fucking Vegas weather in a nutshell. But, um, when we went in, there was about four drinks listed. And the drinks listed there were, let's see, Jupiter's Red Eye, um, Bonsai Meditation, Real Folk Blues, and the Corgi Butt Strut. And my friend got two of the Jupiter's Red Eye, which came with rum, cherry syrup, a cranberry juice, and a splash of ginger beer. The Bonsai Meditation, which none of us tried, I actually should have gotten, I tried at least once, was Absolute Lime, Simple Syrup, Sweet and Sour, Orange Juice, and the Blue Carousel. Um, the ones I got was, he got two of the Jupiter's Red Eye, and I got one e one of each of the Corky Butt Strut and the Real Folk Blues. The Real Folk Blues was the Lime Vodka, Simple Syrup, Blue Cur Curacao, Lime Juice, and a top-up of Club Soda. And the one that I really liked that was actually really freaking strong. Like, I drink a little bit on the side. I used to not drink at all, now I drink a little bit because work. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, it came with Scotch Blue, Gavi, and Sweet and Sour. That was it. But, I don't know, they must have put a lot of scotch in there because that was a strong drink. And it was good, too. Like, you could taste the alcohol, it was a punch, but the drink was great. Um, and yeah, 10 bucks, a bit steep for the amount of your amount you're getting, but I mean, I had two drinks, and I was a little bit buzzed. I was like, ooh, I feel good. So, honestly, the Real Folk Blues, it didn't really, like, it was flavorful, yeah, kind of. Um, but the Corky Butt Strut not only tastes good, but it packed a punch, and I think that's what hit me. Um, because I was like... Damn, for a mixing, this is good, this is strong. Um, and honestly, if they ever do it again, um, I, I would definitely get that again. Um, but 
I was there for about an hour. Me and my friend were there for about an hour. We didn't hear any live band. Um, it was actually kind of cool, the amount of stuff that was over there. They had posters and all that jazz. Um, but there wasn't any live band that when I went there. So I'm guessing that they were taking a break um, from some, what someone responded to me on Twitter. They were just taking a big break. And I just happened to be in that in-between where they were in a break. So fortunately, I didn't get to see it. Um, it was still a cool event. But if you're planning on going to Anime Expo, if you've never been there, plan accordingly go there before the day uh, go there the day before the con gets so you can get the um uh, get the guide um and then plan everything out um also anime expo always has an app um that, that's still on my phone i'm actually probably gonna delete it because I'm not, I'm not gonna need it until next year um by the way, I'm going next year. <laughs> I'm going to be going with a couple other people. Um, Memory's going to be there going there again. And then Kawaii Crew says he's going to go try his damnedest to get there. And that's going to be great. Uh, that's going to be cool. Then we'll meet up and eat ramen. <laughs> but yeah. Um, honestly, I can easily say that... If you're going, if you plan on going, it's your first time there. It is a bit of a, it is a doozy. My very first year I went there, which was 2015. It was a doozy, but it was so much fun. If you're gonna go there, go for the panels. Panels are definitely gonna be worth it. Um, but also see if you can go for friends. Um, it is much better with friends. If you've done cons before, then it's it's much easier. To, it, 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 I'd say it's easier to go alone. Um, but going with friends do definitely does enhance the experience i've never gone by myself i've always gone with a friend first year i went with a friend who i don't talk to anymore um and in the last two years this year and last year i went with rob <coughs> went with rob my friend and honestly i could thoroughly recommend it um next time the tickets will be going on sale will be during black friday i believe you can get a seven a four day pass for 70 dollars, which is a great deal don't care what anyone says. Seventy dollars is about as cheap as you're going to get it. Um, they might even have it for lower. Highly doubt it. But seventy dollars for four days, totally worth it. And if you want to get the premier pass, I think it was four hundred fifteen dollars for the early. Um, and I'm guessing the same exact amount of is going to apply at um, at Black Friday deals. So when Black Friday rolls around, and if you're going, if you're planning on going. Buy those tickets then, but remember, it's very supply, very limited supply. I think they're only open for about a couple hours before they're gone. Honestly, that's not too bad though, because I've had tickets gone on sale and then gone in less than minutes. So for other events that I've gone to, not convention-wise, but if you're planning on going, highly recommend you go with a bunch of people if you can. Um, if you're planning on staying with people, all that jazz, but going with friends or meeting up with friends at the convention highly recommend it i got to meet some really cool people that i didn't really get to share any contact information was but i we, a lot of people were playing that girl's frontline game and, we, and I, that's i was able to start a conversation because i was like oh hey man i see you playing the game but what, what level are you oh man i'm this level uh what's your current squads like oh this is what i use oh you're brand new i will give this recommendations these tips and i would just do a bunch of that that's the one thing that i would do um, and that, I met some really cool people. I got some, there was this guy uh, who I met um, who was able. We were standing in line waiting for the convention to open, and then we got in, and then we rushed to the booth because the last time I went to the booth and I found out where it was, they were also sold out of everything that day. So I was like, all right, come in the next day, we'll do it again. That I'm gonna head straight there. Met, went straight there, out. Um, there was a line that was forming. It was actually a dangerous line because it was uh, against uh, the, the fire marshal. It was against like fire marshal rules. So that to clear us all out, and we this guy um, was the guy was right in front of me. The guy we were talking about. So we went from straight from the entrance all the way out there to the main hall, and we got into the booth. And they cut it off right in front of him. Like, all right, anything past here, you guys have to leave. Come back at another time. But if you're there to first come first serve, you get freebies. And then they can start, and then they, and then when you come back, they sell like posters, which is one of the ones I got. Um, and so what he did, the moment the guy turned around and was telling to the rest of us, he was like, "All right, so all you guys in the back, he was he was small, he was so he was right in front of us, and he was like, all you guys in the back, he slipped around him, <laughs> and then just." And then just waited in line and got it all. I was like, oh, you bastard. I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm talking to all y'all guys. And like, so like he went up to him, like, maybe like right here. If I was standing up, like right here. Um, so he was able to sneak it. And then I was like, ah, uh, he was like, ah, you, so you guys sounds like, yeah, man. I snuck around. I was like, oh, I saw you. I was like, yeah, man. And I was like, and I said bye to him. I actually added him on the game. So I still see him that he's online constantly. Um, you can't really message him. I mean, you can message. I just haven't messaged him. I might just message him like, hey, man. Good to see you at the con again or something like that. I'll be there again next year. I know that'll be that'll be kind of cool. Um, just the fact that people can make conversations. Like I said, us gamer, uh, us uh, us people, we're us people. <laughs> we're not really. 
we are not really sociable people, the majority of us, I mean, that's it's, it's a stereotype. You have to branch yourself out, and I, I've been better about that. Um, before, I'd be like, oh, he plays the game cool, that's cool, I want to talk to him, but kind of weird too. Like, last year, I'm kicking myself in the ass because there was an anime YouTuber meetup, and I was right next to all of them. I didn't introduce myself, because at the time, I was only at barely above a thousand subscribers, and I was like, I'm irrelevant, and now I'm at five and a half. I mean, I've only gained four and a half thousand subscribers since last year, but that's still a huge jump for me, and I plan on jumping up more, and I think next, and unfortunately, the YouTuber meetup was held in private, so I wasn't able to, I wasn't invited, um, I could have at least put in an application, like, hey, I'm, I'm still rather new, I'm really low, but I'm interested in it, I didn't get to, I didn't do it, because I still feel like I want to continue growing as a channel, um, so I wasn't able to meet up, but hopefully next year, I plan on growing my ch By the time next year, I hopefully I can get around 10,000 subscribers. I want to continue making really good content for you guys. Um, and I am also want to at least try to focus a lot of time. Right now, I'm in the process of, like, not only did I just come back from vacation, um, but I'm also in the middle of a brand new work cycle, which I, they swapped everything on me. I went from one section to now I'm doing a completely different thing in terms of time-wise. So it's throwing me off for a loop. I'm, my body's still trying to get used to it. In fact, I had to go to sleep here in the next few hours. It's only 1.30 in the afternoon right now when I'm looking at where I am. And I had to be in bed soon because I had to be at work at midnight. So it's, it throwing me off. And also, work's been kind of crazy. I went I went from, hey, it's pretty crazy when you're leaving, so we're going to miss you, to I'm back, and it's still crazy. Um, it's finally starting to slow down now, so hopefully I can get back down and recording all my reactions and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, so that's that's going to happen. Um, but if you guys are going to go to Anime Expo 2019, let me know. I am more than happy to meet up with you guys and all that jazz. I realize this is going to be a long video I'm going to have to edit. Um, I'm actually near an hour of actual just looking at this all. So either there's going to be a really long video or <laughs> I'll, I'll cut up some things. Um, I highly doubt I'll cut out most of it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is about an hour of me just straight talking to a camera. My voice is almost gone, and you can probably hear it, I, I actually was cutting a couple times, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if there are more videos that are separate outside of just pure reaction or memes, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments section below. Like I said, I was working on a review of Hinamatsuri, though I don't know how I'm going to get to that because the last time I did that, I was taken down for copyright, even though I even edited the video a bit, and I was still able to get hit. So. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just be standing like this talking about it. Who knows? If you guys like that kind of video, I, I might think about it. But that is it for this video, guys. Remember, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. It really helps make the channel grow. It helps support me and means a lot. Also, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description of all my YouTube videos. It is the easiest way to keep in contact with me and up to date. And also, just seeing my stupid posts is the greatest way to do that. Also, if you feel like donating, please donate to my Patreon. I want to try to get more money so I can increase my equipment. Right now, I'm in the process of saving as much money as I can. I have a big thing planned in the next year or so um so i'm really looking to look into that i'm trying not to say what it is because i don't want it out um it's personal um but it's a big thing that i need to do um and it, i'm keeping it to myself only a couple people know like really close to me even know about it so i'm just trying to save up but if you want to subscribe uh, help support me and with that that would mean a lot to me if not just watching you just having you watch my video means a lot to me as well but thank you guys so much for this <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video um i will see you guys in the next video whatever it may be most likely going to be reactions because i need to catch up um it is currently thursday when i'm making this video um and so hopefully by friday i will have a couple more things done for you guys in terms of reactions i will catch up on the um, unison probably either today or tomorrow we'll see what happens but anyways that's it for this video guys thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys next time Peace.